Let's build an AI agent from scratch with the brand new Grok 4 model. All right, so I'm inside N8N. I'm just gonna search for AI agent, and then I'm going to attach the brain, which in this case is gonna be Grok 4. So we're gonna hit the plus on the chat model. We're gonna scroll down to XAI, and now we just need to connect our XAI account. So to do that, actually super easy, you're just gonna go to create new credential, and you need your API key. To get your API key, you're gonna go to X AI slash API. I'm gonna hit access Grok 3 API, even though we're getting four. You just need to set up some billing. So you just need to give it like five bucks. You're gonna go to API keys, and then you're gonna go to create API key. You call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call this one test. And then it's gonna give you your API key. You're gonna copy that. And don't worry, I'm gonna delete mine later. You're gonna paste it in there, hit save, and you're all set. So we now have Grok connected to our agent. So I can actually open up the chat and say, hey, what's up? and then Grok is actually going to respond to me. Now, like all AI agents, I can add memory, right? This is gonna let it remember the last five conversations doing that, and then I can add different tools, right? Like I could do something like a Gmail tool, and I can click these little stars right here, and now Grok is gonna be able to figure out, based on what I tell it, who to send the email to, what the subject should be, and what even the message should be. And there's all sorts of tools we can add, right? We could also add an Airtable tool, so it could update things, and we can go on and on and on, adding different tools to our AI agent, but it was as simple as that to go inside of N8N and connect good old Grok 4, right? Actually really, really easy to do. So if you're looking for guidance on how to create simple AI agents or more complex AI automations, just go ahead and comment Grok down in the chat and I'll send you all these templates.